Hey everyone, today I'm in Nowata, Oklahoma, down a dirt road. But even though this is a dirt road, this is an amazing, amazing roadside attraction. You can see this sign that says Bowling Ball Lane right there. There are nothing but bowling balls inside here. This is one man's creation of art using bowling balls. Even this flag right there is created out of bowling balls. So let's go inside here and take a look around. What got you started into all this? Uh, it was just a hobby, something to do after I retired. We had a few old bowling balls around and decided to do something with them. Okay. So I started on that fence and once people seen what I was doing, the bowling balls started coming in and they still are. They still are, huh? Do they mail them to you or they just bring I've them by? Got, I've gotten them both ways. I've gotten them in the mail as far away as Alaska, New York, and, and Pennsylvania. I've had them UPS to me from Michigan. I've had people bring them to me. Wow. Uh, just uh, last week, a couple from the Kansas City area brought me 17. Wow. So they're still bringing them in. So do you just have them sitting somewhere where you're going to do something with them I've next? Got, or? Yeah, I've got a bunch of them up there in the shop. I just run out of ideas. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, you've done so much out here. Yeah, there's approximately 3,300 bowling balls here. 3,300. I saw your sign that said 3,200, so we've upped it quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, huh? we've upped it quite a little bit. So what year did you start all this? I started in May of 06. So when you started this, how many bowling balls did you start with, you said? So, uh, there were six or seven. Six or seven? My wife had them like glazing balls in her flowers. Oh, okay. She died in 97. and. Those balls were around for a few years before I decided to do something with them. Okay. So are people annoyed by it at all? Do, does anyone like neighbors or anything down the road say don't do heard, this? I've not heard any complaints. Okay. I mean, I, th I think it's amazing. I mean, I, it's, the only, it's the only place like this I've ever seen. I mean, the only you, one that I've heard of. Yeah. So you mentioned you get these bowling balls. Is there any particular one that's your favorite or any no. particular exhibit? No. The no. little piece of I, art that's your favorite? I, I've been asked that. I just tell them my favorite whatever I'm working on at the time. So if they, it, I saw you have a Facebook page. You still have that up and yeah, going? my granddaughter made me a Facebook page before I even knew what Facebook was. Okay. She made that in uh, 2009. And then we're also on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Um, what is the, the name on it? Just Bowling Ball Art or is uh, it? On the uh, Facebook is Chris Barbie's Bowling Ball Yard Art. So how do you have these fastened on here like this? They're Are they just, just sitting there. they're just sitting there? I thought maybe you might have had them glued on there or no, something. They're just sitting there on cannon jar <laughs> I'd be scared with a good, good with some of those earthquakes we've been having well, or something like that. Uh, we're not having them up here. Yeah. So some of these were they cracked when you put them up or no. cracked afterwards? Uh, I googled to see why they cracked and they say extreme temperature either hot or cold okay we'll crack some of them and uh i don't know if you know but no water holds a state record for cold temperature oh i didn't know that in february 2011 it got 31 below zero wow but this is my memorial wall so what about the bowling trophies are those just things that people They're have donated just, yeah, as well yeah most most of this stuff is, is just donations Got some bowling I'll, trophies up there. Yeah, I'll get. Uh, they'll bring uh, their bowling bag, and they'll have bowling shoes and towels and balls in it. And, uh, Just kind of in memory of someone that loved bowling, I guess, or? or or somebody that you know somebody had died, and they just the ball was around. They didn't know what to do with. And... It's pretty neat. Uh, this is a real recent one right here. Yeah. So was it already up here and then they painted this no, this I, year? I, I put the wording on it. Okay. Now if they want to make a ball in memory of somebody or put something on it, I'll tell them they will put anything on there they want as long as it's not dirty or obscene. Okay. And we'll take a look in here and try not to get mud in here. That's all right. It's wow. Look at all this. A light there if you need it or want oh, I, I think we got plenty of light actually. To reflect on your camera or not. Yeah, wow. Yeah, these are some nice ones. These Scooby-Doo and yeah. NASCAR. There's the eighth place that Maureen gave me. Oh, right here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, There's a news of, journalist yeah, there. Yeah, a bunch of, the, bunch of them down there. Channel 8 signed it. I like this disco ball right here. 
Now, what about this right here? Did it have that beer bottle yeah, in there? that's the way it came. The lady brought that to me. Wow. Give it, donated that to me. She uh, Somehow it got covered in hot wax, she said. That's why it's all messed up on the side. And, okay. And I took it to a pro shop, and they couldn't clean it up. I don't think I've ever seen this many, like, flavorful bowling balls, you know, where they're just so... Yeah colorful and well, I've then, never seen anything like this with characters now, on it this, like this that. This here, a lady won that in a, as a door prize somewhere. Oh yeah? And she brought it straight out here. It's never been drilled. Wow. There's several of these have never been drilled. Is this just an ashtray? Is that what that is? Uh, From it's, a, a, it's a mold for cupcakes or something. Oh, a bowling it's, pin. Yeah. I see it now. Yeah, it's a bowling pin mold. Okay make a cupcake for I see I thought maybe it was an old ashtray from a bowling no. alley or something now here's an old ashtray from a bowling alley oh okay yeah that's pretty cool there and this right here is a uh, this right here is a telephone oh that's neat there's where they're plugged in yeah it's the dial something we don't hardly use anymore <laughs> huh right. And then beer bottles and whiskey bottles. And this is amazing. So as far as this, is that bowling uh, National Bowling Club up there? Yeah, well, that was a, a lady donated her mother's ball and those pat, most of those patches and cards. Her mother was in her 90s, and she bowled within six months before, when she died. She was here a year or so before she died, but... Wow. After she died, uh, they brought the uh, stuff. And January of 16, we had a wedding. Oh, man, that's neat. Have you had very many weddings out yeah, here? Just the one. Just the one. That's a unique setup, though, for a wedding, actually. Yeah, the I did not know the people. They were from down around the Oklahoma City area. They got a hold of me. Their first date was at a wedding, or a bowling alley. Oh, that makes sense of why they would do it. And... Uh, the the groom's dad was a preacher. He's the one who married him. Huh. And this is my son. He had a two-year job in Paris, and he brought back a ball from Paris, and he said, we're going to prove it came from Paris, and he <laughs> took pictures there. And that's, that's really neat, too. So how many newspapers do you figure you've been in? Is it? Uh, there's no telling, because every once in a while I'll hear about one that I did not know about. Wow. Uh, when Maureen did this video on me in June of 17, CNN picked it up. Oh, yeah? And played it all over the country. Wow. I got uh, messages and texts and stuff from all over the country and southern Canada. And I know I've been featured or mentioned in newspapers from Independence, Kansas to Austin, Texas. And then after that CNN thing, uh, there's no telling how many. And every once in a while, uh, I'll hear about a new book or magazine or something that I'm in. Wow. So these bowling balls and pins that are split, did you cut those? or I were they? the red one. The people keep asking me what what's inside them. I've never and seen these, the inside. These busted open. The heavy ones, that's like a cement. Okay. That's an ultra light. That's about a seven, six or seven pounder. Okay. It's like a, a hard foam. Okay. I never knew what was inside yeah, of them. Yeah, well, it depends upon the weight, what's in them. Hmm. Then I cut a pin open so people can see what's Now, all the pins are wood, aren't they? They are. They used to be. They're Now they're going to synthetic plastics, from what I've heard. Huh. We've got all kinds of bowling memorabilia in here. I can't believe how much stuff you've crammed in this little building like this. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to have a building about or four times bigger than I, I think you're going to need it. I, so these are the pins, it I, ju at least just the United States of where everyone's from that have visited, yeah, right? Yeah, and then, and then they started putting up, well, she was from Brazil, from Japan, from Puerto Rico, from United Kingdom. Did you ever think when you started creating this that you would be world famous like this? Oh, no, I never, I never dreamed it'd get anywhere near this. Balls are not from those countries, but people from those countries have signed the book. Oh, okay. I didn't. I have not met all of them, but I met a big part of them. 
So some came when you weren't here, I oh, guess? Oh, yeah, people come when I'm not here. And so like you're at the grocery store or something? Grocery store, church, or wherever. Wow. And uh, Does that, Did that make you feel weird, though, when people do that? No, or you're, no, just, you're fine I'm with just, it? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I got a sign down there welcoming them in. All these countries here yeah. that people have visited from. Australia, New Zealand, Africa. I mean, this is, this is clear. Yeah, China and, and Dubai. Yeah. Those are clear on the other side of the world. I just noticed this. Your shingles on top yeah. are actually bowling pins up there. That they've been up there long enough that they're dried out and starting to rot, and the high winds are blowing them off. Uh, it still and, looks really neat, though. Yeah. So you had it color covered solid with them, yeah, I guess. Right. Now, if you if you have a sign, I guess I missed it. But how many bowling balls do you have in this pyramid right well, here? Well, there's a sign right over there. It says 1,015, but it's not right because we started a new row. Oh, you did. See. Okay. And so right now there's around 1,050 in there. Wow. So you're just going to keep building it up, I guess? Well, probably, yeah. And are, are those, that's just, is that sheerly the weight that's yeah, keeping those yeah, on there? Well, yeah, I put cement around the bottom to keep the bottom from kicking out. Everything's so unique. I mean, it's, never would have thought of doing any of this. Yeah, it's just a fun hobby. There's something to... There's a bowling pin that's made into a train, looks like. My grandson did that train. That's pretty neat right there. Quite a display of bowling art. And here is a billiards table made out of bowling balls. Even has the pockets. I'm not sure I'd want the bowling ball falling on my foot, but what a neat creation there. Little helicopter right there. Little spider bowling ball there. Little scale. A rocket ship. Look at the bowling ball bunny right there. Here's a uh, bowling ball bobber. I guess that's maybe a little puppy character. And there is a hidden Mickey. Everybody that goes to Disneyland and makes YouTube videos is always talking about a hidden Mickey. This is most certainly a hidden Mickey in the middle of Oklahoma. I love all the different types of art that he's created. People donate these balls and then he uh, tries to think up different things to do. So he's also looking for suggestions on different things to create. So this is a little leprechaun right there sitting at the base of a bowling ball four leaf clover. And here's some little oxygen tanks that he's made into wind chimes. And then here's some bowling ball ladybugs right there. And he's always accepting donations. That way he goes around to thrift stores, garage sales and stuff like that picks up other bowling balls, but he does have a lot that are donated. Now this is pretty awesome. This is a silhouette of the state of Oklahoma made out of bowling balls. And right here, one of the universities that's in the state of Oklahoma, Oklahoma State University. So he's got that made out of bowling balls. But there are just tons and tons of bowling balls here. Just as far as you can go down the driveway. Even his mailbox right here has bowling balls and a bowling trophy right up on top kind of give you a view of his yard right there like I said there are a lot of bowling balls 
you can see his house and his garage back there and I'm parked at the very back and there's bowling balls all the way back and to me maybe some people are interested in this but this is tastefully done this isn't just junk lying around or anything he's actually put a lot of thought into these all these bowling balls are hanging underneath his fence here pretty interesting to see how many kinds he has how many colors and designs not only is there this man but I also see it's kind of like a little Sputnik back up in there created out of pins bowling pins and bowling balls there pretty interesting to see guess maybe that's a uh, Martian or a robot looks like we've got a bowling ball cactus right there and then we have spades and diamonds and hearts and clubs this one right here is amazing piece of art created out of bowling balls uh, salute to America I bet you guys have never seen anything like that before American flag made out of bowling balls just look at that look how many bowling balls it took just to make this flag Someone will have to count that up. Post in the comments and just let me know how many bowling balls it took to make that flag. Even in simple places, you get taken away by all of the big art like that. That you don't pay attention to the bowling balls that are around just a little bitty tree right there like that. And here is a water well. It's made out of bowling ball stuff. Love how he's made it the roof using bowling pins. You can see how you would crank the water up, and he's made that out of a bowling pin as well. There's an OU right there. Not sure what that is. Just a collection of bowling balls on top of an old wheel. And this is a bowling ball peace sign so that's pretty neat as well we have a uh, teeter-totter it's got bowling balls on it and there's a bowling ball wind chime with a bowling ball rocket ship now that's a big rocket ship and here we have uh, another art creation there that he's made out of Looks like some fence posts right there. I don't know if you'll ever see anything like this. And <laughs> you might kind of see the camera shaking or something. I'm having a duck underneath pieces of art so I don't conk my head like this one right here is a cross. So as I went underneath, if I would have just stayed standing up, I would have been knocked out right in the front of his yard by his creation. So this is a replica of an art display in the National Museum of Modern Art in Paris, France. And I guess it's just a uh, bowling ball sitting on a chair. But look at this right here. It's a Christmas tree. Christmas tree and the ornaments are bowling balls. How about that? Amazing. Here we have the Ten Commandments written on bowling balls. And I'm not sure, I can't remember what you call these things. One of those deals where you you know, pull the ball out this way and it hits all the balls and then it'll knock this one out. Too scared to pull one of those out because like I said, these bowling balls, they sit out in the heat and the cold, so it'd be my luck it would crack all those, but I'm sure he did it when he created it. Or maybe it's been replaced several times. Here is a the fish symbol, the popular fish symbol that you see on the back of cars and everything connected with Christianity 
and a red ribbon or maybe that's pink I imagine it was red originally and then it's just faded over time the alphabet right here every letter of the alphabet is created out of bowling balls look at that a b c d e and so on all created out of bowling balls isn't that amazing imagine the amount of hours that he has that he's put in to creating these it's not just simply stacking bowling balls or anything he's actually had to create these little stands and stuff like that out of metal and then that billiards table back there he's actually had to build that all these other structures out here you know he has to build the structure and then put the bowling balls in there how he's imagined it's incredible to think about the amount of man hours that he has in this i'm going to show you one other thing it's right over there and it really has a connection with me and i didn't even realize that it would be connected to something of my childhood skipped over this but here you can see one of his hats there but this is a Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. That's pretty awesome too. It's a good creation. But this is a shrine. Hopefully there's not too much of a reflection. But on that sign there, if you can't read it because of the reflection, it says this bowling ball and pin were in the Moore Bowling Alley. When the E5 tornado tore through the city on May 20th, 2013, and it is dedicated to those that lost their lives and all those citizens of Moore, Oklahoma, who suffered that great tragedy and loss of that day. May God bless. Now, this bowling alley, I grew up in Moore, Oklahoma, and uh, I used to be on a summer league every year, about third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade. So right when I moved to Moore, Oklahoma, I uh, was on the bowling league. So who knows, I could have actually touched that bowling ball at some time or thrown a bowling ball down the alley and knocked that pin over. But this is a shrine that is dedicated to the loss of that bowling alley and then also the loss of lives that happened that day. And like I said, this is the shrine to Moore, Oklahoma, and there are 24 balls here representing the 24 people that lost their lives. Moore, Oklahoma, May 20th, 2013. The house that I actually grew up in was destroyed from that tornado, so really one of the last things I expected to see up here was a memorial to my hometown, Moore, Oklahoma, and those that lost their lives here. It was a nasty, nasty tornado. And one that I'll never forget. The only thing that looks the same in the neighborhood that I grew up in is the streets are still there. And so there's a chunk of cement that's around the corner from where I lived that I used to ride my bike over. And it's still there, but otherwise, friends' houses and stuff like that that I knew and had, they're all gone. And the, the elementary school that I went to as well, it's all gone. But this Moore Bowling Alley um, was just annihilated. And so that's where that bowling ball and pin came from. Moore, Oklahoma. Look here, here's a uh, bird feeder that he's created. Here he has a sign on the outside of that where it says bowling balls wanted. Any weight, any color. And there's his phone number. And of course he has a Facebook page and an Instagram page. So you can drop these bowling balls off as you visit or you can mail them to him either way. Thanks for joining me today. And I hope you enjoyed this bowling ball yard art. I know I did. I've never seen anything like this. If you know of a place like this, let me know. This guy is world famous. Definitely famous all over Oklahoma for what he's created. Thanks again and we'll see you guys next time.